I know you walking up to heaven on them white stairs. Why well, can't just pull up to your crib and see you right there? Nobody love you till you dead, that's when they might care. Let's just be friends before we rush into a label. Wanna know if you really Yo, what up? This is Kenny, and in this video, I'm going to address whether or not the Kevin Herter hop jumper is any good. The short answer is yes, absolutely. It's very good. And the reason it's very good because is because it's basically just normal. And what I mean by that is it shares the majority of the animations as normal, which is true with a lot of hop jumpers, if you don't know. Uh, and I'll maybe address some of the other ones in other videos. But what I'm going to do here is do some side-by-sides comparing normal versus Kevin Herter. So we can look at all the animations that are identical, just to prove that point. And then some of the animations that are unique and whether or not they're better or worse than normal. All right, so first up is the sprint in the non-dominant direction, which is the left for me because I'm right-handed and diagonal back on the stick for this side hop. And they are identical, as you can see. Uh, it's a very, very good move, but yeah, they are identical in this case. All right, next we're looking at the sprint in the non-dominant direction and pulling back to the right on the stick. And here again, they are identical moves. Very good move, but they are indeed identical. All right, so here's a move that's actually different and much better, in my opinion, in the Kevin Herter version. So this is sprinting in the dominant direction, which is the right for me, and pulling to the left on the stick. And this is a really cool move in the Kevin Herter uh, hop jumper, and probably the best move, or the best improvement on uh, the normal hop jumper. All right, so here's one that's different, but it's actually worse in the Kevin Herter version. This is sprinting in the dominant direction, which is the right for me, and pulling diagonal down to the right on the stick. And in the Herter version, it just sort of does a side hop. And basically, in the Herter version, there's not a variant for the directly to the right and diagonal to the right, whereas in normal, you have the diagonal to the right and you get a nice hop away from the defender, uh, and you have a 90 degree to the right, uh, animation that's just like a side hop and Herder just has one in the same there's no difference between those two animations basically and that's a downgrade to me from the standstill all the animations are the same when you're going away from the ball hand so whether that's diagonal back to the left or right or side hopping left or right they're all the same and they're even the same when you go straight back Animations that are different in the Herder hop jumper from the standstill position are when you go towards the ball hand. He does like this double hop that's really nasty. I really like this change. This is a very nice animation. The last one I want to cover is running towards the basket and straight back on the stick. Uh, they are the same, uh, Herder and normal, but it's a very good animation. I use this all the time. Uh, it's really, really good. It gets ankles and just catches people off guard because you get the ball off so quick. So in conclusion, I would say yes, it is very good. These are easy to green animations, and I think this one animation on the screen now is enough of a reason to use Kevin Herder over normal. So that's all I got for this one, guys. Thanks for checking it out. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Now I'm tangled Deep in my thoughts and overthinking can get painful Watch how I move, a wrong decision can be fatal Hidden messages, conversations